inside of the Less Is More Lounge. I'm Scott Les, backstage at the Rockstar Uproar Tour yeah. with the band that kicks off the main stage tonight, Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm. How are you, my dear? Doing very well, hello, everybody. <laughs> so great to see you, and congratulations on the ongoing success oh, that is the you. man that, known as Hailstorm. Thank you. Dude, I, I, as far as we measure that success by the fact that we're still here for some reason, man. <laughs> still touring, still there. You know, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's an honor to be on this tour. It I've really got to ask you your impression. A couple of years ago, when the first time we saw you in Santa Rosa, you guys are out playing bars, doing it bigger and better than oh, everybody. Yeah. Then you guys go out on tours, you're playing second stages. Here we are a year and a half later, almost two years since the CDs it's, hit, and now you're on the main stage it, of one of the best, biggest festivals in the country. This is amazing. It's the slow build, man. It's <laughs> it's awesome. I, I, I tell you, we really, we've fallen in love with the chase, man. Just like, whatever happens next. And as long as we keep moving forward, for some reason we keep, you know, it's great. It's like all of a sudden, we, we, we talk about this a lot on this tour, like, you know, who, who screwed up and put us on the main stage, you know? <laughs> and whoever you are, thank you so much. But um, it's awesome, man. It really is. And, and this lineup is incredible. I mean, for, for heaven's sake, we get to see everybody every day. Nobody hides on this tour. We're all partying. There's mandatory hangout sessions where, like, we all, like, have to be there. And, like, it's great. It's freaking <laughs> awesome. Mandatory so, hangout ma sessions. Manda <laughs> mandatory parties. As in, we can't go through this party with, uh, with this tour without partying at least once a week. So it's like, yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> and, and congratulations on the epic new video for oh, Familiar you. Taste of Poison. Thank you very much. It is very cool. It's yeah. like a detective story uh, yeah, with a mystery. It's like a who done it, you know? <laughs> um, no, that, it, that's uh, it's one of the uh, just the best videos that we've ever well, it's the best video we've ever made, really. Just I'm just gonna say it. But um, the most fun we've ever had doing a video. We really got to, you know, put ourselves into a character, whereas everything before uh, before this video has kind of been, you know, amplified versions of ourselves and just like let's put on you you know the guitar and let's right. rock you know <laughs> ah, in the camera <laughs> ah, you know but um but this one was interesting because we had to like it was uh you know it was a film noir kind of 1940s right. set and and uh, you know i get murdered and and <laughs> like and the rest of the guys are you know, well joe's the detective and he's trying to figure out who did it and rj's the cadaver guy you know whatever is these the forensics and all this <laughs> stuff it's hilarious to like everybody got really into it like we all really got into our character and and like you lose yourself for a little bit and and not to mention that the first day was me in a pool for six hours <laughs> straight <laughs> um, and uh, singing underwater which was an interesting thing I've never had to, you know I've never done before so it was very cool so now when you're singing underwater is it more just like mouthing I mean you're really yeah, vocalizing well, like, well, oh, oh. For, for me I have to kind of try but the problem is is that like for the first couple takes I was actually singing underwater and I was making a lot of bubbles so so they're like, okay, well, you can't okay. make bubbles. So just pretend. Like, so I had to, like, but make it look natural, you know? It's, oh, okay. So I'm Nothing underwater trying not to breathe. <laughs> but it, it was neat, though, because you get kind of lost in the performance. And then all of a sudden, like, your body starts freaking out and, like, um, oxygen. Remember that thing that you need to stay alive? You still got to do that. But uh, it was cool. Because then, you know, you would do one take, but then you would be taking breaths the whole time. And the next time you'd have to, like, remember what I didn't sing the last time so I can sing it this time. Yeah, it was very fun. Did you guys get to pick in the, the plot of how it was going to lay Pretty out? Much, or? The, it was um, actually it was a friend of, of my bass player, Josh's. Uh, uh, we had met them when we were making the record and, like, you know, went out to dinner and stuff. Really nice guys. Uh, um, and, uh, and they ended up writing a treatment for us. And they always wow. said that. They're like, oh, you know, if you guys ever do, like, a music video, like, yeah, 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 sure, sure. You know, yeah, we'll read a script from yours. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then they sent us this script, and we're like, literally, we're reading it, like, what happens next? Who did it? Like, bedtime story. <laughs> like, we have to do this. So we ended up doing it. Uh, we shot it in California at this 1920s mansion that is literally falling into the ocean. It's like a huge fixer-upper. Like, if you go up to the second level, everything's a little askew. <laughs> But it was so awesome, and and uh, just I don't know, it just like I felt like Lizzie in the 40s, and I had to kind of like you know they they made this like the the red gown I'm wearing they made especially for me, and oh, and it was wow. so cool like everything was like all ca all custom done, so you know thank you. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Backstage at the Uproar Tour with Lizzie Hale of Hailstorm. Of course, they're going to be kicking off the main stage festivities tonight, and a band that's been on the road as long as you guys have been supporting the latest CD, which I say latest. I mean it was oh, almost two years ago. <laughs> it's still when you guys have time to write? Are you, are you um, a band that writes on we, the road? We do or? write on the road. Everything is kind of crudely recorded at the moment. We actually um, are upgrading our recording equipment to uh, just to have like a little rack system <laughs> that with Pro Tools and everything that we need on there so that we can actually like 
make efficient demos and uh, you know we've already begun writing for the next record uh, I have no idea when that's gonna come out right. because that means we have to get off tour to get all actually <laughs> recorded so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that but um, but we're really excited about the new material and and uh, but you know what's great about this record and and this is something that I didn't think I'd say now a year and a half into touring on it is that I am not sick of these songs every time we play in front in front of an audience a new audience especially this tour where it's the majority Majority people that are following Event Sevenfold and Disturbed and Stone Sour have never seen us before, so um, it just they rejuvenate you, you know. And all of a sudden, the song means something different to you because of the people singing it back to you. And so, you know, they our, our fans have really kept us alive with that on the road. Well, so. I think everybody who's ever going to see Hailstorm live is going to become a fan oh, because well, thank you guys you. <laughs> are absolutely one <laughs> of the you. best live performance bands I think ever oh, that we've seen you. in the last Very five much. years. You guys blew us away in Santa Rosa, and so many people still come up to us and say Hailstorm. Storm is one of the best live oh, performance so bands we've ever seen. I'm so glad. So you guys no, are dedicated to your craft, and I was. I'm, I'm curious, going from from playing intimate settings, and, and when you've got the stage literally uh, just a few feet from the fans, to now on the main stage where you've got security and monitors, it's, and then there's the fans. How, how do you still interact with, with the fans? It's out a there? different animal. Um, but you know what's you know what's great about what we do is that like it's still so incredibly important. It's it's easier in a smaller like club like setting to like have a more personal experience with everybody. You, you can actually to like pick somebody out and be like Haha, that's a funny hat you know <laughs> um, whereas here it's a little harder just because of the lights and everything going and and usually the crowd is a little further away but for some reason like where it's again it's very important like eye contact and like actually when when you get it to a certain point in the set where it doesn't feel like you're just the band and they're like audience that we're actually like doing this together and I could literally have a conversation with this guy in the front row that's where like the magic happens not to sound completely cheesy but it's it's such a great experience when that actually happens on these tours because it's uh you know i don't know it, it's like the audience is this huge animal like all in itself and so you can like you can get lost in it so incredibly easy because you know we're only four people giving out the energy if we get that tenfold from everybody in the audience you're like you lose your mind a little bit wow. but it's it's such a great experience and and everybody on this tour has been so incredibly just with open arms like i, I mean I'll, I'll ask them occasionally like how many of you have never seen us before and that and everybody will raise their hands but everyone's so incredibly into it so it's so humbling you know to just stand up there and be like, I, shoo, I can't, I'm glad you liked it, you know? It's like, did we pass the audition, you know? So, yeah. And after Uproar, what is the next touring schedule? Oh, I'm sure there is one for yes, Hailstorm. Um, up next, we're going uh, to Japan for the very first time. We're oh playing Loud Park with Ozzy Osbourne and Motorhead. And, <laughs> and Avenged is there, too. And, and it's, um, oh my God, it's just so incredible. We, we never thought we'd get to Japan this soon. We always thought it was going to be like a few years down the road. So we're so excited but so nervous at the same time because it's a totally different world but we're already getting like emails and and tweets in Japanese and we have got to like you know we have to have an interpreter go out with us so that we don't say anything stupid but um, but we're doing that and then we're going out on a uh, taste of chaos which is also overseas but yeah so that's gonna be awesome but this is actually our our last uh, US tour until after the new year and then we come wow. back and we'll do some more headlining shows and maybe see about that new record so <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> we'll see what happens but yeah busy busy well so. Thank you so much for your time today. No, thanks for I know you're getting me. ready to hit the stage. Oh, yeah. Always great wait. to catch up with you, and best of luck with you guys in the new year. Thank you so much. You it guys means are great. a lot, man. You guys are awesome. Dude, Lizzie Hale everything. from Hailstorm inside of Les Is More Lounge. Woo!